Hello and thank you for grabbing Kinetic Text Animator. This orientation video will just kind of get you oriented on all the parts of the dashboard and I'm also going to show you a quick uh, look around in the app itself. Now we are now in version 1.08 or actually 1.07 has been released. So uh, if you noticed here I clicked on this button in order to get to the downloads. So the downloads have their own separate page. We have the latest version up here in the upper left and then older versions here you can see the version history and hey if you want to make some extra money you can go ahead and get your affiliate link and get 50 percent if you uh, get someone to purchase kinetic text animator so share that with your friends uh, but let's come back over here to the main dashboard we got also tutorials here uh, and bonuses both of these get updated uh, as regularly as, as i can um, i try to do uh, bonuses on a regular basis you uh, if you go to the facebook page i try to do one approximately one a week so if you come here to the uh, if you join us here on the animation creators club you'll see uh, that i post here's a preview of the next version that's not quite out as of the time of this video but we'll, we'll be taking a look at it and um, then you you'll see whenever uh, new features are added i I'd like to share them. I only did this uh, less than an hour ago. Um, Carvel, the programmer, added the ability to do multi-select on the timeline. So pretty cool stuff. Um, so do check that out. I do um, post kind of some information here um, on a regular basis. We might have news from time to time, particularly when I release a new version. So uh, that's another great reason to join us on Facebook is because I do announce those first on Facebook um, and before we kind of do the general release just to make sure that everything is good before I get everyone uh, notified that we have a new version. So let's take a quick look at Orient on a Kinetic Text Animator. Here is, uh, we are currently in version 1.08. Um, so that's what we're looking at here. We've got a few new animations and these will be available uh, early next week. Hopefully by the time you watch this, they have been out for a while. But um, so here is this, the, the, the timeline is down here. Now, when you want to add an animation, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. First of all, you probably want to select a font. So that uh, is up here. You can use Shift B to toggle that open and closed. So uh, once you've selected a font, it can act as a default for the rest of them. I've already done that. Now, the next thing you need to be aware of is you want to have an empty Anna block here. That's what these little blocks are called. You'll see that the names will be on them once you've created an animation. I've got one empty here, and if I wanted to add a new one, I could click on this plus bu uh, button. That would actually add a new one right where the, the playback head is. But the playback head, um, if I want to kind of add something, this new one here, I'm going to go ahead and click on this. I've already got, well, I thought I had some text in here. Let's just do some, Is uh, this is some sample text. And really, um, all they need to do, so I've already got a font here. Um, I can specify a grid area to where I want it to show up. I'm going to go ahead and put it up in this area because I know I have some stuff already here. And I'll animate that. And you can see here now, if I turn that grid off, uh, you can see that animation has been added. Actually, it kind of moved it over on the timeline because my playback head had been there before. And so now I can, uh, again, I can play that. and. Once it's, it's showing these two right here, and then it's got my new animation up here. And uh, so you, wanna, you just want to be aware of that. Now, uh, another thing I'd like to share with you is we have the ability to do keyword search assets. Uh, so that's very handy. And so I can do something like business. And uh, it's going to come up with images and then also videos or even audio if there's any audio files. The, the audio and the video will have an add button, but the images, what you want to do is just drag and drop that onto the stage. You can move it around and zoom. Uh, I've got a double, um, I'm using the trackball or two fingers on a Mac track um, in order to do that. I can crop. And then once I've got it the way I want it, I can click OK and add it on there. So that drag and drop is uh, the method for uh, images or backgrounds. And you can further move it around here on the stage and get things uh, going. Uh, so I um, just wanted to give you a quick orientation on that. That'll get you going. Uh, the tutorials cover the rest of that. And so thanks a lot for grabbing Kinetic Text Animator. We hope you have a blast and we look forward to seeing the cool things that you guys are going to create. Please do feel free to share those on our Facebook group and uh, ask any questions and so forth. So thanks a lot.